Welcome to the Smartest Suite, the smartest suite of tools that you're ever going to have in one app. Recently on the Rise Productive Podcast, I interviewed Smart Suite founder and CEO John Darbyshire, and we're working together as a group of people now who just, just want the world to be more productive. So shout out to Smart Suite for sponsoring this video. And as always with my partnerships, I say how I feel about these things. I don't just make it up. I don't just talking head for anybody, okay? Regardless, when having a conversation with John, I was just so inspired by the fact that on the start of this system, they created something that had a very strong backend. We spent three years with a very large team of developers, around 100, to build the core platform before we released to our first customer that was there. So wow. pretty big lift. So you can just think of, you know, pretty talented team working for that long, like the feature set that's kind of involved in making that happen. And it's so important because when you have a system that's going to keep having layers and layers of new integrations and updates, it's important to have a sound backend. Uh, apps like Notion and ClickUp are either really buggy or slow to bring new updates because they have to keep updating things in a less streamlined manner because of how they started their software. So in today's video, we're gonna break down why SmartSuite is a productivity powerhouse and some of the really cool automation features that it has that uh, lack the insane amount of bugs that <coughs> ClickUp <coughs> and uh, some other applications have. So I'm gonna add a new solution here and let's use this blog slash podcast manager template. So what's really cool in Smart Suite is that there's a fair amount of automations that you can do. And I think this is gonna indicate some of the really cool ways that this product is a step above its competition. When you go to this solution level right here, you'll see that there is an option for automations. So when I create my first automation, what I like here is if I add a trigger for something, there is a myriad of different options. First and foremost, I'm just gonna point out that soon webhooks are going to be implemented into automations, which is gonna be a big update. Definitely would recommend you look into the power of webhooks in other applications, very strong stuff. API connections, all that fun jazz. They also are gonna have scripting as an action coming soon, which once again, magnifico. For this circumstance, I'm gonna put when a record matches a condition. So for the blog post, I'm gonna pick when the publish date is minus seven days, or actually when it is one week from now, then I'm going to make sure that it sends me a message in Slack and add a new Slack credential. So I'm gonna add this to tasks to do and then allow. And this is in tasks to do, gonna tell me that the blog post, and then I can put the name right here, is one week from posting. Make sure you finish the draft ASAP. So as you noticed here, it's really cool. This is essentially the same kind of builder that you can get in something like Zapier or make.com for these messages, but integrated into the system. I don't have to use a Zapier plan. This is actually saving me zaps on my account because it's got way more baseline integrations with apps than I have. Now I can also go to more options and change the bot name, which is really cool, and the bot icon. There's a myriad of more automations that you can add here. So I can also update records, send an email, find other records, which could be very useful uh, at specific intervals. And you don't have to be a Slack user. You can be in Teams. You can send this over Gmail. It could even maybe create an event in order to tell you to time block out something. So for example, if I were to create an event in my Google account, when I'm one week out from the blog being posted, I could force it to give me a little time block in order to get my work done. So as you can see here, I can start the date of time as today and then set it, for example, at 9 a.m. Or say I needed to meet with a team member to discuss it. I could, for example, pick my rest productive account and title it the blog post title name and then rough draft sync could be set to either the day of or maybe uh three days from now right so we can do like three days from now and then that would mean that this could be a meeting if i put an include google meet and i could not only add myself but add the attendees of anyone who was either the offer author or the reviewer as well think about this like take a second back and realize this is a productivity app. I'm not in an automation software right now. I can send a message to myself a week out being like, hey buddy, can you can you like get the thing done? And then I can create an event 
with the author being me and the attendee that could also be a reviewer in three days after that, sinking on like, all right, did you, did you do a good enough job for this rough draft on this blog? And there are a myriad of other options here, right? We got Google Drive, Google Sheets, Outlook, all these different kind of things. So if you're looking for something else to add into there, definitely put in a request to the team. They're doing an awesome job of implementing new updates. So shout out to this. I mean, just quality stuff. And then once I'm done with this, just go to the top left here and put blog post one week out. And then I can put add automation. And then I can, yep, I want to switch it on. And this, this will automatically run, which is so cool. Now, this is obviously something that can be done internally, but the fact that SmartSuite is also integrated with Zapier and Make.com, Webly and Plea means that it is also going to have the ability to do the things that aren't native. But for me, Slack, uh, reminders in the app, Google Calendar, emails, all those sorts of things are mostly what I use for like this reminder project and task management sort of thing. So I might, I might be saving a lot of money on Zapier with, with this uh, nice little update here. And these kind of automations can also be done in other circumstances, right? So for example, uh, I if I were to set this to complete, we can think of situations where I have Zaps currently set up so that when somebody drags something into a Google Drive, it's complete. Now, that sends a message to my Slack right here through Zapier, but what if I also got it to add a update this field to complete here? This is the kind of stuff that having a native automated app is so much better than having to rely on a third party application as well with Zapier because it reduces the amount of issues that you have. I know that a lot of people find it decently hard to learn a million different apps and by sticking within one ecosystem, you're able to get more used to this one thing and that is the whole vibe behind SmartSuite. It's a productivity powerhouse because you don't have to go into a million different applications in order to get stuff done. You're able to have these automated tasks, these automated messages work without you needing to use third-party applications. Another sort of automation that you can do here is too, you can add a field that's a button, which is cool. So when you click the button, it can perform different actions, which is not something you can currently do in Notion. I'm not a fan of that right now. Uh, I, I think there's other applications like Coda that are able to do this. And the goal is to continuously add more and more to these systems from a native integration standpoint, from a button standpoint, from an overall tool set standpoint, so you just don't have to leave the ecosystem as much. And when you do, it's fully integrated. Thanks again for SmartSuite for sponsoring this video. Appreciate the partnership. And if you like this video and wanna see more on how to improve your productivity, make sure to check this one out right here.